So um, you normally expect to get some kind of crosstalk results um, if you've got an SI engineer or an engineer that's been using uh, some of the cadence sequity tools. Um, they can save all the, the data so they can run some simulations and save the data and then you can actually load the analysis into uh, PCB editor so you can physically see the, what's going on with your crosstalk. Um, so if you run up the, the analyze workflow manager, um, there are several different options for workflows and there's lots of videos available on the parallel system web page um, to, to see these, but we're going to look at the cross crosstalk workflow. Um, if you've got access to something like a, a Sigrity Aurora license or some Sigrity tokens, you can actually run the simulation yourself um, from within here, but we're just going to load the analysis results here. So we'll use the load analysis results. We'll go to where the file and you can see straight away I'm getting kind of a the, the visions get loaded automatically um, and I can see um, what's going on here. So I've got a few nets that are kind of some are looking OK. Um, some have got a, a few issues with crosstalk. I've got a, a couple here that are probably um, the two drastic ones that I really need to look at. So if I bring up the, the crosstalk tables, I can physically start to see what's going on. If I look at the specific nets, it's, it's mainly kind of these these two, maybe these three um, I would want to look at and I can see kind of the result. Uh, the waveform links, what the victim is, what the driver is. If we expand these out, um, you see the individual rocks per, per segment of net. And if I kind of double click on here, it would actually zoom in and highlight that. But I can also do a right click here and do sh show details or click on it. Sorry, not um, not show details. If I actually just click on the actual value of the result waveform, it's going to bring me up a waveform here. And you can change the colors here by, by literally just um, if you select it, you can obviously come in and change a color to get to get a bit more detail and physically see it on the screen and find out what's going on. So quite a useful function to work out um, what's going on from a crosstalk point of view. Um, as I said, Sigrity license if you need to um, run the analysis, but if you just need to load it, you can run it from inside of the Cadence PCB tools.